Hey guys, Don here with the TroTech Academy. Thank you for tuning into this video from our demonstration menu. For this project, we're going to be making a washroom sign using our Trolleys Reverse. To create this application, we first flip our sign over and engrave the back with the first color. The artwork file has been mirrored horizontally to end up with the final effect that we would like. We then spray paint and let the spray paint dry. We put the sheet back into the laser to engrave the second color, which we then spray paint and allow that to dry. Finally, we put the sheet back into the laser and cut out our final shape. With the reverse material, you can make signs with as many colors as you would like. Trolley's reverse consists of transparent acrylic with a colored coating on the back. By mirror engraving the image into the back, the colored layer is removed during the engraving process, and the material becomes transparent in these places. By using acrylic paint to inlay the engraved back, a colored engraving is created. The smooth surface allows for easy cleaning. The material is perfect for interior signs, exterior signs, badges, safety signs, and information signs. Looking at the material features, the Trolley's Reverse is a micro-surfaced impact acrylic with back coating in two-ply. It has a matte non-glare finish or a gloss finish and comes in two thicknesses, a 1 16th inch and a 1 8th inch. The sheet size is a typical 48 inch by 24 inch, but it's also available in half and quarter sheets. For this application, we'll be using a 12 inch by 24 inch quarter sheet, costing $20.37. Looking at the job features, we've broken down our job into two separate segments. One which looks at the creation of a single sign, and one which uses the entirety of the quarter sheet to make two signs in total. The important statistic to look at here is the total engrave, cut, and paint time. To create a single sign, it takes 21 minutes and 13 seconds. However, to create two pieces and use the entire quarter sheet, we have a total engrave, cut, and paint time of 38 minutes and 30 seconds, only 19 minutes and 15 seconds per sign. This is due to less resistance on the laser head when moving further along the x-axis. By filling the entire bed, we're able to engrave more quickly. Now let's look at our general ROI breakdown. Keep in mind that these numbers are very general and may differ based on your local factors. First looking at the revenue for our single sign, we have a setup fee of $25 that takes into consideration time and labor, as well as a retail price per sign of $62.89. This leaves us with a total revenue of $87.89. Moving on to costing, we have the price of our quarter sheet, which was $20.37, divided by two, leaving us with a cost of $10.19. We also have a setup time of 2 minutes, supposing that we are paying our employee $15 an hour, leaving us with a cost of 50 cents, and an engraving spray time of 21 minutes and 13 seconds, supposing we are charging $100 an hour, that's based on standard and opportunity costs, things like electricity and the time that you could be using for other things, of $35.36. This leaves us with a total cost of $46.05. Subtracting our total cost of $46.05 from our total revenue of $87.89, this leaves us with a gross profit of $41.84. Now for the breakdown of our full quarter sheet, which accounts for two signs. We have the same setup fee of $25, which accounts for labor and time, as well as a retail price for the two units of $125.78. This leaves us with a total revenue of $150.78. Moving on to costing, we have the same price for our full quarter sheet, which was $20.37. We have the same setup time of 2 minutes, supposing we are paying our employee $15 an hour of 50 cents, and an engraving spray time of 38 minutes and 30 seconds. Supposing we are charging $100 an hour, this leaves us with a cost of $64.17. This leaves us with a total cost of $85.04. Subtracting our total cost of $85.04 from our total revenue of $150.78, this leaves us with a gross profit of $65.74. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be very happy to hear from you.